I'm Teresa Stableski. I live in Danvers, Massachusetts. I am secretary to the superintendent of schools in Danvers, and I'm clerk to the school committee. It was a typical work day. I went to work and worked till four o'clock. I met two friends, and I went um, walking with them for an hour around outside. I ate dinner, and then I got ready to go to the meeting. And I actually was taking notes at the meeting um, when I was light feeling lightheaded, and I thought to myself, maybe I should get a drink of water. What is this? The room was appearing a little dark, and I never even got to drink a sip of water. My pencil dropped, and I plummeted to the floor. Luckily for me, Kathleen Curtis, who is our director of student services in the school department was speaking to the school committee at the time. She immediately ran to my assistance and is also an RN. So she started giving me mouth to mouth resuscitation while Bill Bates, a school committee member, started performing the chest compressions. And then Michelle Winkler Geddes, who was a parent in the audience at the school committee, assisted Bill. 911 was called and um, the emergency medical technicians did need to defibrillate me two times to get my heartbeat back to normal. I was not conscious at all from when I fell to the floor until I arrived in the emergency room and I met my cardiologist, uh, Dr. Michael Katcher. And she not been in the right place at the right time with really wonderful people near her, things could have been a lot worse. He determined that a virus attacked my heart. Viral cardiomyopathy is a relatively common condition. Simple viruses that cause colds can attack the heart. The amount that they damage the heart can vary to minimal to sometimes severe. He realizes that he needs to protect me because this ventricular fibrillation could occur again and that's when he determined that I needed a ICD. Hopefully she'll never have another one, but should she, she is now walking around effectively with her own ambulance inside. It is a high-tech machine, like a large pacemaker with wires down to her heart, that sits under her skin and watches over every beat. And should she ever go into a cardiac arrest, it will see it, charge up, and give a high-energy shock to restore her heart back to rhythm, usually in less than 10 seconds. What was so wonderful in this situation is having quality trained lay people, non-healthcare providers, who can provide CPR and provide that extra window of time till the ambulance can get there and the defibrillator can get there to restore the rhythm to normal. They really are the heroes in this case. Life is precious and you just never know, even when you're in good health, what could happen.